Hey, welcome back. It's Corey with Cranberry Alarm RI3D. And in front of me, I've got a ThriftyBot elevator graciously provided by Ryan at ThriftyBot. And we're gonna be going over some of the dimensions and how it looks in front of the reef. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. So this year we're using the AM1-4U for chassis and we're actually direct mounting this elevator using a two by one bar to the chassis. The clearance to the, uh, the center six inch wheel is very close and we actually expect we'll have to bump this two by one bar up by an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch in order to clear a new uh, six inch wheel these are older wheels, so they're worn a little bit. But you can see um, this elevator is almost a stock ThriftyBot elevator kit. One of the only real modifications that we've made is these motor mounting brackets. Since our chassis is 26 inches wide as opposed to something like 28 or 30, um, we've had to trim a, an inch off of these motor mounting brackets in order for them to slot in beside the elevator and provide enough room for um, a sport box to hang off of there. These Andymark Andy uh, sport gear boxes um, are mounting directly to those motor plates and we're gonna be, end up using a 12 to one on both sides. And we'll be coupling these sport gearbox shafts together uh, using female to female hex adapters Right now in its current configuration, the Neo 1.1 that we're using to power the elevator is sticking out of the frame perimeter a little bit, but all we need to do to fix that is trim the, uh, the shaft of the Neo and we're able to get rid of this um, three quarters of an inch block spacer. I can give a little demonstration of the elevator rising up. So this is what it looks like at, like at max height. Each of our first sta or stationary stage and first stage vertical pieces are 36 inches tall. We, um, we chose 36 inches to um, be at the max height, the 42 inches. We had a little mishap in the CAD and differences between when we were designing and when we were manufacturing. The real um, height of the elevator should have been 35.5 inches in order to be inside of the starting height. So we're actually a half inch over, but um, we're able to show in CAD and we'll be able to show later that our L4 scoring mechanism is going to sit far above the L4 uh, rung without actually extending all the way up. So we ex expect to sit right, right around here how we designed with our 35.5 inch vertical segments. The width of the elevator is 19 and a half inches from outside of the, the stationary stage to outside of the stationary stage. And right now we're missing the, uh, the chain drive down to the, the sport gear boxes on the bottom. Uh, that's something we'll be installing soon. We're also missing a second half of our um, rope system to make sure that all of the forces are balanced. We'll also be getting that to that soon, but we thought that we would get this video out as soon as we could to show how this elevator looks um, on a max height AM1 for U4 chassis. And um, I guess I should point out a little bit more about this superstructure here that we're going to have. I've mocked up a, a rough cardboard uh, model. It's not to scale, but it kind of shows that we're going to mount polycarb plates inside of this second stage in order to lift the, um, the actual coral 
intercept spot higher up. And then whenever we're stowed, the coral is going to pass through from the feeder station and index into a mechanism right here. So rather than trying to um, index the coral and sort of feed it through the second stage, we're able to utilize some, uh, some superstructure off of the second stage to get more height of our, out of our elevator, making L4 possible. If you have any questions about elevator specs that I missed, feel free to leave comments in the, the YouTube um, comment section below. But this was an overview of the elevator that we have now. Obviously some work to do, but um, it's looking promising for being able to score on L1, L2, L3, and L4. Continue to follow along on Fun's YouTube channel with Cranberry Alarm RA3D as we finish out today. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.